Man, we're talking about, we talking, what up man, this is Marlon Drews, welcome back to my channel. We talking about the story with this man, just 12 fucking dab hits with his homie on 420. Threw up on his way back to the crib. <coughs> and the homie threw up outside the window. And he's still smoking it, cause my bro hit him up. Man, this man's a party animal. If you want to party, man, you guys gotta hit us up, man. Wherever y'all, wherever y'all at, man, New Jersey, wherever. We finna start doing this new whoop idea my man came up with. He talking about like linking up with one of you motherfuckers. And then we gonna turn up with the littest nigga, with the littest YouTuber in your motherfucker, you know, your motherfucking area. That's what we finna do. We finna go out with y'all, man. I'm talking about we finna turn up with y'all, man. Finna show us how y'all city like, man. Now that shit is. Hey, last night when I was recording that night when we was going out, when I was like, tell the people out, I got hella views, bro. Hella views, bro. They starting to see the town. And they see how we was just posting. Motherfuckers like the video, bro. No, I'm talking about appreciate that. They see you more in like people. With people, even though, yeah. and you still do what you do. Hell yeah, man. You know, we still do what we do. You hear that, man? You hear my boy? That's why I make these whoops, man. Show y'all, man. We ain't faking this shit. It's the day in the life of an upcoming fucking rapper, man. We really do this shit. Nothing to lose, everything to gain, man. You know what I'm talking about if I go to jail, if I, get, if I end up dead, y'all gonna see it all, man. Y'all gonna see it all, man. Hopefully it motivates you motherfuckers to get up and do something. Matter of fact, it is motivating motherfuckers to do something, bro. Turn it off. You know what I'm saying? Because this is one girl, bro. I just made a video, right? How you turn it off like that? I made a video. This girl was like, in the video, it said, it said kiss yourself. And I did kiss myself. I, I, I kissed my mother. I'm talking about yeah, it's true. So I kissed myself. And the girl liked the video, but she commented. She said, I would have kissed the man. And I thought about it like... That's kind of cool, but then I thought about it some more. Now that's kind of gay. If you do it, it's cool. But if I do it, I'm kissing a guy, really. So I like. I was like, I, I, I shit. I kiss my muscles instead. You know what I'm talking about? Like, and then, she, and then, and I'm like, I'm like, why don't you do it then? Fuck, for you saying I would have did this. See, I'm motivating people. She said, I, and now I go back to her shit. She, she got hella followers. <coughs> you know what I'm talking about? She following hella motherfuckers, but her shit that she posted ain't her shit. My, what I posted is all me, bro. So all my followers all me, bro. You know what I'm talking about? She posted shit that you supposed to like, like, like all these type of videos. So she, you know what I'm saying? We don't even know who the fuck is posting this shit. Like, obviously, you gonna like you gonna get one million off this shit. So it's already edited and everything. You ain't had to do nothing. But she ain't got no videos of this of her. So that's when I was like peeping, like, damn, she. I know she's thinking about doing it because she just said I would have kissed the meal. So I'm motivating this bitch to actually start doing her own You know what I'm saying? Like, we motivating these motherfuckers, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Like, dead ass, bro. We're making a fucking difference in this world, man. I appreciate the comments out there, man. Because I got one of the... I got, I got my girl out there saying that. One of the loyal followers said that I'm a... That I'm a beacon of hope, my nigga. And not the first... She ain't the first person to say that shit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. And now the motherfucker saying, if you don't understand this man hunger, you ain't from the hood. You know what I'm talking about? Real shit, man. This shit's inspirational, man. On a plane, I'm talking about. And we're finna be keep going out, man. We finna steady going out. We finna keep putting ourselves in shitty situations. Hey, we finna we finna fight. Finna do all that. Why? Because dude said, man, don't know. I was like, them guys fired. Don't know ever, man. Don't ever guy. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker goes like, man, guys never be fighting type shit. You know? I'm sorry, I totally misunderstood your bio. I did overstay my visa. So we finna fight, man. I'm talking about. We finna turn off the motherfucking bars. We finna turn off the bars. Everything, man. The darkest. You know what I'm talking about. When we go to the fucking bars, we finna go to the clubs after the bars. Do I gotta go to? Then when we go to the motherfucking clubs, then there's gonna be a line. That line gonna follow. That line gonna be with a coke at. That's what's gonna. That's what's gonna take us. And that's what we trying to find. We are trying to find a coke club. See when we was we was at the bar, bro. What was his name? Goon said he the coke plug. But I knew he was over, man. 
So then when I text him, he's like, oh, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get back with you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you do that, bro. You do that. Cool. That's funny as hell. Man, I should have, t- I should I should have told Goatee like what he said, but Goatee seemed paranoid. <laughs> That dude with the gold oh, front teeth. Yeah, he seemed a little bit like he wasn't enjoying the night. He seemed a little paranoid. Yeah, because everybody, like Twan said, everybody <coughs> not cool. That, that's in the town. Yeah. That was there. That was acting. Yeah. So then why the fuck were people there? Because niggas trying to be cool. Why do people go? People trying to be cool? What the fuck? Out. They didn't expect that? No, they, it, it's not. Niggas haven't been in two of So niggas have years. that frightened energy. No, niggas haven't been, in, like, really into it in a minute. And they finally seen each other. And niggas just saying, what's up, bro? How you been? So there was a couple niggas beefing saying what's up to each other. Yeah. <laughs> well, they was. And niggas didn't do nothing to each other at all. And they just kicking it all And up. they got bodies behind this? I don't know. Ooh, it's different when there's bodies behind us now. No, they probably did shoot at each other, though. Uh, that's probably just fun. Niggas did probably get hit. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't seen You haven't hit at all? Niggas did probably get hit. You know? Yeah, man, because I was going to uh, I was gonna talk to dude about me. You know dude don't know how to make music, right? Dude sucks at making music. I checked him out, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. He looked like a rapper. He had money the day we see him had hella hundreds. You see what I'm saying? So I remember dude. I seen him in a rap song. I clicked on it. And I didn't like his music like that ass, bro. No hating shit. You know, I be giving people credit where's where's the dude. Right. Maybe he just go in there and freestyle, and just say whatever the hell you want. But his music wasn't all that. So then when I was trying to talk to him about that music shit, I feel like, you know, if your music ain't all the way there, you go I feel like you can be a hater. Somebody that do got it. So when I was trying to talk to him about music, I feel like he was kind of off about it. Like he didn't know if I was a rapper or if I was a fan. Man. But he wasn't giving me like a like, oh, if you a rapper, I'm gonna make music with you. He was, you feel me? So I was just like putting two and two together. Like, dude can't even make music. <laughs> and if I show this nigga I can make music, what's that gonna do? Nothing. Fifth, then he gonna hate a nigga more than I want to make a song with a nigga. You see what I'm saying? Right. So I didn't even bring up that music shit But I was gonna bring up that money shit though But then I was thinking Maybe dude just got them grills to get them grills He don't give me like no vibe Like he got, he sell that coke yeah. Yeah. Trying to make money bro We need to go to the Mexican club <laughs> See the Mexican bitches. <laughs> you know, hey, you know we're gonna get a lot of dancing though, right? <laughs> no wonder they be a lot of fucking at the Mexican places. <laughs> then you start dancing with the machata with them, and then you start dancing on them, and then, and then you start talking with them. You know what I'm saying? It's super simple, super easy to come up to a bitch like you want to dance. All right, no, I guess no, because it's gentleman like, but it's really like you see it as she going. Ah, it's the same. More people gonna dance for sure. At the Mexican I mean, place. more more body touching. At the club, at, at the bar, less people were dancing. Cause we was at a bar. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said the club, Mexican. Yeah. We gonna we gonna definitely you know take these bitches outside. That shit was decent though, bro. And the more we go out, that shit gonna be. Fun. I wish there was like clubs that stayed. That stayed. I wish there was clubs, bro, that stayed. You know what I'm saying? Open logo. Alright, man, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tell me if you're a part of the video, man. Tap that notification bell, turn your notification on. If you guys want to donate my channel, catch me. You guys want to follow me on IG, my social is going to be in the bottom of the link description. Oh, man, stay tuned. We got big things coming up on this channel, man. I'm Ramon Rodriguez. I'll see you guys in the next episode of In the Day in the Life of Welcome to Record Squad.